Hello, this is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator Eric McRae. Uh, today's question was, do you need a website to highlight your art or your artist services? And my answer is yes and no. And I'm leaning more toward yes. It depends on your level of commitment and how serious you are about your career your business and do you see your art as a business or you just want some public notoriety if you are casually painting drawing sculpting shooting photographs doing graphics whatever you your creative thing you like to do little uh dramatic script the skits or like to sing or whatever your creative thing is, or if you have a little side business or a side hustle where you're not very, um, it's just your little extra money you're making on the side and you're not very serious about building a business, you can use something like Facebook uh, very effectively to get your uh, work seen as well as let somebody know what your landscaping business or uh, you can make a, a skit where you film everything on your iPhone and upload it and share it on, on Facebook and plenty of people will see it. But if you're looking at building a business and a serious career, you definitely need a website. Look at it in the sense of fishing. You and I go fishing. We get a fishing, both of us are rod and reels, and we go down to the fishing hole like Andy and Opie, and we cast our nets, our, our hooks into the water, and we catch a mess of brim. One, two, three, four, 10, 20. We had a good day, and we come back with about 20 fish. Okay, then the next day, you and I go out, we get in a boat, uh, we ride out a little bit and we cast a massive net into the water and drag that net through that lake and we come back with thousands of fish. A website is just one strand or one line in that net. It is not as building a career or a business is not as simple as just one strand and one hook. Yeah, you can have success, but the question is how big a success do you wish to be? And a website is a stagnant uh, place on the website, on the internet, where you can up, upload content. You can use that as a hub to feature all the products and services you provide as a professional. You have ultimate control over that. Tomorrow, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, whatever, Snapchat, whatever thing you're messing around on or having fun with or using pretty seriously could change tomorrow just like that, like a Thanos snap. Because the owners of that social media platform can make radical changes. Uh, now Facebook is pushing as well as Instagram is is buying ads and sponsorships because they want to make more money where before your organic reach was massive. You post something initially, everybody who was a friend of yours saw it. Then they streamlined it down to the people you encounter more often and it's become even more narrow. So on Instagram, you don't have the same organic reach. Facebook, same not same organic reach. They want you to buy those ads to reach the same people you used to reach free because it's a free service to you that you can utilize. So they need to make more money. Okay, so with your website, you own that website, you own that domain, and you can put content up there and use that as a hub to connect to all your social media platforms or online um, e-commerce sites like Etsy or eBay or Amazon or offer up or let go whatever you're using on the internet to sell your product or service so I would say yes you need a website and also it's a big thing about credibility you know, in the old days it's like did you have a yellow pages ad or uh, a listing uh, where you're a serious business if you weren't in the yellow pages nobody took you seriously and so uh, when you're really doing business you need to be a business person and part of that in my opinion is having a website now if you just want to you know do your thing casually and I painted this picture or I sang this song or I, I don't know do pet grooming whatever you could upload that and show pictures on Facebook and you'll get some traction through Facebook marketplace but um, the, all those different things are part of the net 
every every platform from Craigslist to Facebook, back around to LinkedIn, and to your own website are all part of building that massive net that you're going to use to build your business, to get attention, to engage customers. Even back in the old days when someone would run a newspaper ad, uh, they would do direct mailers, they would um, do have telemarketers calling people. So how you interact, because really in business is about engaging people. And if you don't have people engaged, you don't have customers, whether you're selling pizza or selling paintings, but you gotta have people. So I would say yes to the website, get a website, hurry up. Um, so as a matter of fact, I know a good guy who does websites. So if anyone about, wants a referral, shoot me an email at eric at ericmcray.com. That's my email address. Or you can send me a message on Facebook or wherever, and I can refer you to somebody really good who does websites. Okay, so, um, and this guy did my website. He's exquisite. So, um, get a website. Don't mess around. Don't take forever to get it done. Uh, make that a priority if you're serious about your business or your career. Um, okay, so follow me these videos on LinkedIn. Uh, Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, hit the subscribe button, the like buttons, all that good stuff. And let's keep in touch. And thanks for keep watching. Bye.